we have been asked to add 15a plus b plus 3 plus ab and 2ab minus 5b plus 3a minus 6. What we have seen until now is how we group like terms and then solve each group. We have to add two expressions here. Let's write the first one as is. We write the second expression here underneath this one. But there is a way in which we write it. We write the like terms one under the other. Look at the first term for instance, 15a. Do we have a like term in the second expression? Yes, we have 3a. We write 3a right below 15a. We have to keep the sign of the terms in mind. Here, 3a had a plus sign and so we wrote it as is. The second term in the first expression is b and minus 5b is a like term. We write 5b with a negative sign. 3 and minus 6 are like terms, so we write minus 6 under 3. 2ab and ab are like terms and that's why we write 2ab here. Now all we have to do is add each column. 15a plus 3a is 18a. b minus 5b is minus 4b. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. And ab plus 2ab is 3ab. This method we just saw is called the column method. We form groups, yes, but we write it in columns. One advantage of the method is that it looks cleaner and more systematic. We are more used to solving addition and subtraction problems where numbers are written one below the other. But wait, are we forgetting something? Yes, we have to write the terms in the descending order of the exponents of their variables. 3ab will come first, then we have 18a, then minus 4b and finally the constant 3. We get this expression after arranging the terms in the descending order of their exponents. We will look at a few more examples in the coming videos.